In this tutorial video, we'll help you get to know your Approach Z80 laser range finder with GPS so you can see the game differently. First, let's get to know the button controls. Press the power button, located here, to turn on the device. Press again to turn off the device. Press these two buttons to scroll through menu options. When you decide on a menu item, press this button with the orange line on it to select it. This button is also used to range with the laser. This is the button you'll be using most of the time. To focus the image in the screen for your vision, simply rotate the eyepiece until it's in focus. The status LED indicates when the device is in standby mode, if the battery is low, and what the charging status is. Consult the owner's manual for details about each status. Lift up the weather cap to find the micro USB power and data port. Here is where you will connect a compatible USB cable to charge the device or transfer data to and from your computer. Now that we're familiar with the device, let's play. Turn on the device and the first menu item that appears is Play Golf. Select it. The device locates satellites and calculates your location. The nearest course is selected and the hole closest to your current location is displayed automatically. To measure the distance to the pin, Point the circle in the center of the viewfinder at the flag. Now, press the Range button. Hold the circle on the flag until the flag finder locks on the flag and the distance to the pin appears. When the device targets the flag, the distance will turn yellow, a flag icon appears, and the map automatically transitions to a close-up of the green. Now you also see the distances to the front and back of the green. These distances are relative to your current position, so if you're approaching the green from the side, you get the distances in line with your approach. The other thing you will see is the laser range arc. This arc is drawn at the distance ranged with the laser, so you can see where the flag is relative to the front and back of the green. To sight targets other than the flag, it works the same way. Point the circle at your target and press the range button. The only differences are, the distance will be red, the map will not zoom in on the green, and the laser range arc will be red. Your Approach Z80 has a feature called Plays Like Distance, which accounts for elevation changes on the course and adjusts all distance measurements to give you a better idea how far you really need to hit the ball, and it helps you select the best club. To turn on Plays Like, press either the Up or Down button to bring up the Option menu and scroll to the Plays Like option and select it. When Plays Like is on, all distances displayed on the map or ranged with the laser will be adjusted and have an indicator in front of it to tell you if it's uphill, downhill, or flat. Another feature on your Approach Z80 is the pinpointer mode, which is helpful when you have a blind shot and can't range the flag. To get into pinpointer mode, press either the up or down button to bring up the option menu and scroll to the pinpointer option and select it. The arrow in the center of the viewfinder points to the center of the green. If you move the arrow so it's pointing up, then you are aligned with the center of the green. You can also use the map as a reference to see what you are pointing toward. The cone on the map represents your field of view. Pressing any button will take you out of pinpointer mode. Those are the basics to get you started using your Approach Z80 laser range finder with GPS. You can learn more about the Approach Z80 and other products to help improve your golf game at Garmin.com.